Uh, all right, so here we go. We have the matchup versus uh, Philly No One and D Hoss. Uh, they are coming in from our lower drafted spots. D Hoss drafted Tamar Stomach of the Rabid Market at 33. Philly No One drafted Aldeck of the Critics Bridge at 38. Uh, we already went over the two decks in a little bit of detail um, in the recap for the round robin, saying that we we're going to feature this. Um, but Draz, you were with us. What do you yeah. think about these two decks we have here? <laughs> well, this is an interesting matchup for me because um, I have played Tamar Staunch of the Rabid Market. And I've also played Owlneck of the Critics Bridge. Now, I've played Owlneck of the Critics Bridge because I, I own this deck. <laughs> this is my so, own deck. <laughs> so was this drafted after you picked then? It was. It was. And and I'm kicking myself for a few reasons. One, this deck is done way better than the silliness that I drafted. I drafted some silly combo deck that wasn't combo-y enough um, and didn't have enough C in this format with all these big bodies, these big Saurians, like you see over here in, in Tamar. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, so I didn't do well. And even after, even before I played too many games, I was already starting to think, ah, shoot, you know what? This would have been a good opportunity to just get more reps with Owlneck that I've only done mediocre with at best. Um, but Philly has been doing very well with this deck. But D-House yep. has also been doing really good with Tamar. So um, this is going to be, I think, an interesting interesting matchup here between these two decks. All right. Well, I think that's what we're going to see, right? Um, like I said, we already went through kind of a detail in quite a bit of it. I think one of the things we pointed out was um, the jar of Alnek. If the jar hits the city-state interest, we think that could be a huge thing. Um, but Keyforge is a... You know, it's a wild game, so you never know when certain cards are going to come out. So we'll see what we actually see in gameplay. Uh, they already have a game up, um, so let's go ahead and navigate to that sheet and see what happens. I agree most of the time that City State is the target, the two of them over in Tamar. I do think there's a potential sneaky play at the right time to jar the Forge Compiler because the C mm. in Owlneck is relatively low. It's got the one gateway, and it's got implosion, and that's basically it. So yeah. a jar, or jarring the um, Forge compiler at the right moment could, could be a make or break. All right, well, here we are. We have, for game one out of the best of three, we have Philly No One going first. Um, they're giving the obligatory good lucks, have fun, Always question that. How much luck do you really want your opponent to have in a game where if you high roll, you can just crush someone, right? Like, but we say it. We all say it. But I think most of people just lie. <laughs> I'm already giving them a hard time. Clean match, no biting. <laughs> Great. Uh, just the basic play right there, starting off with, uh, you know, little taunt dude. Get a body in the board, I guess. Oh, and here come the sins. We have oh, Wrath, sins. we have Desire. Out of the gate. Uh, Pip, Stirring Grave for no effect, but I mean, that's still four cards out of your disc cycle moving into a two board, which is somewhat threatening um, pretty early on. Yeah, I like that start. So getting the Desire out there and spending the Stirring Grave, Desire could be useful later in the game. Mm -hmm. Not early, so it's most likely yep. going to be answered before it ever has effect. Not getting any value of Stirring Grave is always painful. Um, is this double rapid evolution on our, yeah. uh, our taunt? On the that taunt is a taunt. nine power taunt. I mean, yeah. it still just dies to, to Wrath if we do go back into this here. It's not likely you're going back after this on a first turn four card play, but if you do, that pretty much answers everything. Because yeah, that he's means signaling that he's going to try to protect a Kirby or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you'd probably try to beef up the Lumilu if you if you thought you had more uh, untamed coming soon. Yeah. Up, oh, marking into Interesting. there. 
but he signaled that's where he wanted to go. So that's 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 an interesting play. But then he yep, he kills it right away. So so maybe that's effective. I still that's think I same. might have marked into untamed there. Your yeah, I, just I think I might have also. Uh, ended up being a good call. Uh, okay. Yeah, he only had the Anthony. See, I thought he had the Kirby. I thought we were going to see a, a big turn with a Kirby or two there. Getting some more, more bodies on the board. Yeah, triple Kirby. I expect them to pretty much landing Kirby's every time they call Star Alliance, right? Mm. Um, there's one city state. Yep. Not a huge effect here. No, but you play it. You, you play it because now you're going to make the jar decision harder and you want to give mm -hmm. your opponents difficulty. For sure. And I like the access denied on the desire. Um, that makes it harder for D House here. Yep. I mean, like, at that point, desire is just a penalty for both of them. Mm -hmm. Completely shuts down that card. All There's right, the jar. jar. One turn late for, for the city-state. Um, the question is, is it still city-state again? Because late-game city-state is obviously way better than early-game city-state. And as we would, we reviewed the decks. Like, the two city-states make up, I think, over half of the decks Amber control. Yeah. Um, I, I think at this yeah. stage... I would still go city state, but he's thinking about it. He's looking at the deck list. Oh, he goes for library cards, so he's trying uh, to play against the uh, singular big turn, pushing him off the game. Because um, okay. library card could go into daughter, daughter, Kumek, Kumek, um, and Letho. I, I still, I don't know. I, I think I would have picked the two daughters before that. I would have picked the second city state before that. I mean, like we're playing with. Obviously, they have decks of keyboard tokens, so you have like all the information. There's a chance I even pick auto encoder before that, right? Like, not. I don't think I'm digging that that choice. Yeah, I see. Like, now we do have a snudge in Owlneck. If he thought maybe he could snudge it back and force a discard, maybe. But I, I think it's too hard to keep the snudge alive here. Yeah, no, it's a uh, it's it's a it's a rough ass to keep snudge alive. Snudge is like a witch. Everyone wants to kill it real fast. Mm -hmm. Especially in this uh, Emberfall game that D-House is going to have here. Yeah. Uh, we got... Philly is in a tough spot. Unless we start to see a, a big push from Alnac. It is... I, I guess Gateway is still a thing. Um, yeah, that weird. It's early to use the Gateway, though. It's got to feel like a tough decision. I mean, we've got four mm -hmm. on board and one creature in discard for D-House. Like... All right, so here's where we're going to see some Kirby's. We've got our second right, taunt out. Kirby's coming. Um, if anything, you're just dropping hand here. I don't think we're going to see a huge, like, swing card. Maybe dropping a Brabble would be helpful right now, if that's a thing. Uh, but you want you want to try to get board advantage here, right? You want to try to get uh, D-House to, to be worried about what's on the board and and have to play into that. I know a big thing that I actively tried to do, because I have also played on that, because when you got it, I was pretty excited that you got a jar that was in the 90s. That's a big thing, because jar is awesome, and, you know, it's a good set. Um, I actively tried to make my Kirby's land all of my Untamed, because I didn't want to call Untamed that much. If I could focus to just play Star Alliance and Dis as often as I can, the Star Alliance and Dis really do shine in the neck, so... That pushed my, my win rate up a little bit because I was just playing good cards most of the time. Yeah, the uh, the winner loss sometimes for Alanek can be do you get a big Dark Carpenter turn? Because you can get a really big Dark Carpenter turn, mm -hmm. but, but it's certainly not consistent. And that amount of Ember with the... Um, uh, Song of the Wild and those rapid evolutions, mutations, and so, whatnot can yeah. be a big deal. All right, here this comes is interesting. Yeah. Well, this is an interesting turn. He chose to go Logos there, allowing Philly to come back this turn and actually play the Star Alliance board that he just set up. Because normally, like that gets answered immediately. Because like he could have answered the almost the entire Star Alliance board with just the two disc creatures that we know of. And he's still got Axiom, and he's still got Gateway. So to go into the Logos turn there, 
just to discard the library card, which was chaining him, the daughter, the eclectic, and the letho. I don't know. Like, I, I think I answer the board first and then have that turn. Yeah, and you consider sacking desire with yourself above six and your opponent not. Mm -hmm. Well, he wouldn't have been able to answer the whole board that way. Because, like, if he had... Like, Wrath could have killed the secure droid, stunned the... or enraged the Anthony, and then Desire could have killed the Kirby. Mm -hmm. we, we, and that's just the two cards we knew, right? Yep. Well, there we go. There's there's the value. Like, that's a reap value. So that wasn't even on play. Um, no. So, I'm going to crush some Amber, and I think... and I don't think there's any way... De I, I would not have foreseen Access Denied doing what is doing to the desire right now that's just one of those like unfortunate unseen interactions um but it is obviously hurting him at the moment because neither of his boards a key and right now basically he has to kill his own desire if he wants to forge a key um, yeah i think i think that was a really smart play by philly no that was a very heads up uh, go to and I think like I think that's something basically anyone would have missed. It's sometimes hard to see those like I mean access denied car is like sometimes good. Most yeah. of the time it's okay. And in this case it's like the best case scenario. Yep. And he purged the mark of dis and he purged the eclectic inquiry. Those are both strong cards. Mm -hmm. I think eclectic Eclectic Inquiry is a little stronger in the first cycle. Um, I probably would have purged Lethologic, which is better in the second cycle. Mm. But both are great choices. Those are great cards. And there's there's the answer this time. We see Wrath Kill, Enrage Garcia. Um, a slight order misplay there, right? Because he could have enraged one more. With a sloth. Yeah. Had he had sloth down. But that's not that big a deal. Um, and they use its desire to kill Kirby like we had discussed, like the previous turn. <laughs> but at this point, just getting that reap value off of Kirby once is, is pretty good value. Um, He's got two born there, so. Yeah. At this point, though, I think if Philly has the gateway, we see it. Because I know Philly does not want DHOS to have this board warded. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's when you're. It. Or is it when your opponent? Let's see. After oh no, that's when your opponent. So, but either way, like you can't risk forging a key and then like yourself forging a key and then this all this stuff be warded against you. That would give Dehas a key. Though. Yeah, there's some way ha uh, he's about halfway through his deck, so roughly 50-50. He's got it. I think ideally Philly wants Dehas to forge a key with the increased cost and then go in to clear the board. I just don't know if we're going to see that happen in that order because we're seeing just right now. If he has gateway, he's probably playing it here. Um, that's a sad purge. Purge quick no. sell, yeah. Yeah. That's not exciting. Uh, we're fighting with Infernus into Sloth. Okay. So that, so that was a double happen. fight into yeah. there to do that. Implosion. What's my target here? Uh, oh, uh, well. Sensor Chief and Bone Saw. Bone Saw. Hmm. Um, I don't think I do Bone Saw. Well, if he kills Wrath, it would have killed Anthony, but I probably would have killed Shrix. Yeah, I think he goes Shrix. You get that Ember. You get yourself at six, right? So now that would give. Still not off. quite unsure why that wasn't just a double reap, though. I mean, I guess he, because, yeah. I mean, the, the most threatening one there was Sloth, because that means when the house goes into Logos, he just gets a ton of Amber, because he can't use anything. Um, yep. But he could have did the implosion on Sloth and the um, the Imp, um, and then that would have put him at a higher, like, he still would have been in check because of Desire, but we'll see. Yep. I think it's... I think they're both kind of playing real close to the chest, like very defensively. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't either want to make a mistake. Quintina. Interesting. That's, that's one of those game losing cards that we talk about all the time. It's like he's, it's, he's so far ahead. Got, of the board. He's, he, yeah, it's like, do we, 
And you never really know whether it's going to end up being in your favor or not, because Ventina is one of those cars. Oof. He's loading oh. up his guys. He's loading There's up. a bunch of wards. Warded. Yeah, warded desire, too. He hasn't, yeah. We haven't seen the gateway yet, though we did nope. see the implosion. So the wards just makes it trickier. Now he's... Yeah, I mean, and, Philly's and probably going to let him forge a 10. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that was Ooh. the idea, right? Like, that was the... Oh, how about 12? Eat that 12. Nice. Nice so that play. is the ideal scenario we were just discussing for Philly mm -hmm. to happen, is to make your opponent forge as much as possible and then go to clear the board and get rid of Desire so that you can forge at a low cost and have your opponent not get as many people work. Because as far as like top and amber control, neither of those these decks have any scaling. So you can literally forge as much as you want all they can do is tax you. Anthony does ha is scaling away, but like it just kind of goes right back to them eventually. You're literally giving it to them one at a time. <clears throat> All right, here's our logo turn. We've got the Qmex coming out. Um, I think he's looking to draw into better lines here. This could be a real. Uh, we have another mark of this in Alnek, right? Yeah, we've uh, seen yeah, one played. Yeah. Alnex got two of them. Oh, if this is like if we're about to see Mark of Dis into Gateway, this could be a really good swing for the second half of the game. Yeah, so we, let's see. we could see that. We also haven't seen the Song of the Wild, and we could, yeah, we could have an Untamed Burst here. Depends on what he's drawn into. Because we have one card in archive, six in hand, nine in draw, so mm -hmm. roughly. I mean, there's only nine cards unaccounted for, so you could see easily see either one push big. I think, I think the Mark Gateway would be tactically the more impactful wing, because if he goes and does the Song of the Wild thing, Katina's gonna hurt you. Yeah, it's gonna Katina's gonna get you're, you, and you're, you're already down a key. A and yeah, yeah, yep. Um, so that could be rough. So yeah, I think. He might not have the gateway. Well, he might not have any of these, right? So yeah, he he could he he just as well could be considering between these two versus I don't got either of them. Which am I going to draw yeah. into first? <laughs> All right. Well, Star Alliance is neither and, of them what we have discussed. Yeah, he's got neither. and most so likely not beans. going to help him do anything. Honestly. Oh, he's cycling. Uh, okay, he fights his Anthony to cycle. Well, he needed to kill Katina. Yeah. Which, I don't know. Did he? I think Katina yeah. was helping him more than hurting him. Yeah. If, if you have to go Star Alliance this turn. Because after this turn, the odds are is you're drawing into everything we just talked about. Right? Yeah. So, uh, we'll see. So, the Kirby is going to play into hopefully... All right. I think he's actually out of Untamed Creatures. They're probably a ball. All accounted for at this point. I don't think we saw the. Do we see the Niffle Ape? I don't know if we saw the Niffle. Uh, ape. Oh, I guess there's a Niffle Ape and a Demo Beast. Yeah. Um, that are currently unaccounted for. So if one yeah. of those were in his hand, that definitely would have been the play for me. As yeah, I said, so we like, didn't have that. Yeah. I try to get all of those Untamed cards out of my hand during Star Alliance turn, and that way, like, it's much more yep. likely if you do go into Untamed. You're just like getting Harbinger value the whole way. Yeah. A chance to get that stampede, <laughs> which is yeah, so elusive. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. The number of times people played a stampede. So it's like one of those things that, if this ever did become a digital game, like there'd be certain things you'd want, like fun stats to track, like mm -hmm. like the tracker used to. Mm -hmm. Like the number of times Life Web and Stampede actually sold would be one of the things that'd be fun to see. Oh, we've got Dehaus right, thinking, so he's got a yeah. lot of decisions over here, because, like, he's got a big he can play board. board. I, I might try to... Let's see. I think you... Well, there's there's a lot to want to deal with uh, on the opposite side. Now... So yeah, there got... are four valuable targets, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, the group think tank is, is kind of two-sided, right? So the group think tank... 
I don't know if you can... I mean, killing your Q-Mex is fine. And the uh, Infomorph is also fine, because you reap yeah, her. So, is that what we're about to see? Reap three times, and then could do be. the business? Could be. It does remove the wards on the Sins, but he might be thinking that's worth it. Well, so at this might... point, he's ahead of a key, and yeah. Desire is the only thing that is the yeah. reason why he isn't, like, on two keys for the win right now or something. Yeah, so he fights Kirby. I was wondering if he was going to do Kirby or Snudge. Okay, yep, he did the he did the group think tank. Okay, yep. So he left Snudge out there. But that means, like, all right, there are only seven cards left in draw. If he has Mark Gateway right now, mm -hmm. that's huge. Because he could yeah. also... Because at that point, the Forge Compiler literally won't matter. He could snudge the autoencoder back to hand, mark gateway, and be like, I'm coming for you. So let's see. I mean, he could even reap with snudge, return snudge to his own hand, mark a gateway. Yeah, put him back out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if, how big brain that is. The snudge is real good. Yeah. Although, just returning autoencoder to the hand is pretty solid. Because, like, you know your opponent does not want to call Logos next turn. Right. All right, there's the Snudge Reap. Yep. Does he choose uh, Snudge himself uh, or Auto Encoder? He goes uh, okay. Oh, okay. He oh, goes Forge, forge Compiler. Compiler. Does he not have the Gateway? He had the Gateway, gateway but no Mark. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, still, I think well, I. Well, no, I, I I think the Forge Compiler is a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the Forge you Compiler. Let I guess he gets an opportunity to play out his board, right? Yeah, if you don't have the mark to control how many dudes he's putting on field. Uh, he purged desire. out Soul Keeper and Desire? I s oh, because he just cycled his deck. Yeah, still, I might take Wrath or Faust. Uh, I, I would go Faust over Wrath in, late, in like second cycle for sure. But we still um, have... The, the city state is still locked down, so Faust is less threatening. But there's still there's still ways to. to no, get city state is live. He did um, the library. Game. Oh right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, so you definitely do Faust then. Yeah, I do understand desire because like late game, late cycle. That's based like in most yeah. cases that is a miasma. So like that's yeah. also that there. Is, that is important. I, I agree. Desire is the priority there. Made his opponent discard that. Um, and then, yeah, like, so if he didn't do the Forge Compiler, right now Gluttony would be warded and mm -hmm. Shrix would be rewarded. Yeah. That, that so that was pretty significant. It was good. It was good. Um, and then we know Star Alliance turns. The only thing they do is build deck. We finally see a green creature being played off of Kirby. Um, which is very valuable as far as the way on that is played. Um, but is there much else though? Surely. Oh, he's Sunday uh, Anthony. Unfortunately, yeah, not great at the end of the cycle, but it it happens. We should be seeing platform soon, right? Yeah. Did it somehow it'll get be, tossed? Could be the last card. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Well, and then he chooses it. So yeah, he knew it was there. Um, yeah, talk about a money like, yeah, money yeah. new frontiers, right? Like, yeah. obviously you don't want the ape, right. and then you get Chan and platform. That's that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Very very good new frontiers. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Gluttony lives there, so that's huge. Um, yeah, that's three. That's a I lot. Know. That might have like, like I, if you know you can't kill Gluttony, but he could have. Do you? Well, so if you if you take that line and you say I'm not going to kill a Gluttony, do you hold the Anthony, knowing you're going to archive two Star Alliance creature, two Star Alliance things, and mm. you're going to be able to play minimum three Star Alliance next turn, plus whatever you draw back into on the flip? Yeah. Because now I don't know. Now he's in check. Yeah. Uh, it is a tough spot. I think it's still close, closer than it like looks. Right. Um, he. We also know he has a mark in his hand now. 
Like he has to, right? At least one. So if he does, yeah. So we got the flip. It's um. We have uh... yeah, I mean, marking into this doesn't feel great in, <laughs> with the current board. Marking no. into Sarian. Um, well, you could technically kill almost everything, but okay. Well, he's marking him into Sorian. Um, he kills the Shrix so they get no value there. Because he definitely doesn't want Shrix to keep getting exalted so more gluttony is alive. Right. Um, well, now he has well, a judge. Well, is live now. <laughs> yeah. Sloth is generating two. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. There's yeah. see. Sometimes I like to, even if it's something's a push, like give my opponent a tough decision. Like I might have um, killed the dark, fought into the dark minion to to die, and then leave the Shrix. So he's got to decide, well, do I reap with Shrix or do I... Oh, no, but he's still got the Gluttony, so now you don't want him to let Shrix get more power. Yeah. There's the city-state. Okay. Yeah. Chan of Hubris is really good against Anthony. <laughs> you just get it back. And then there's the two more from... Uh, the slot. This is actually a pretty rough spot to be in. I'm not sure what the out is. He's going to Untamed. Can we answer Gluttony from Untamed? Because if Gluttony's not answered here, it's most likely going to be over. Oh, the There's Assault 3! Plus the 3. Oh, but he didn't... Oh, we did the sloth. Interesting. I guess that's net better. It does take one off the board. Yeah, it makes it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that is because if he about. doesn't do that, like then there's the Haas can get two out of logos, get two out of back to Sorian, etc. Okay, his Myers out, which is uh. One of his delays. So the Pismire is out. We got the Anthony on the board. Nothing in it. So really, it's the other Anthony. This is only real. Yeah, he's got crowd. a sensor chief, right? So that's that's a small slowdown. Um, ooh, Forge Compiler. Forge Compiler Again. built yeah. board. Yep. So this is... Yeah, that was just a tempo turn, so. Mm -hmm. d -Hoss is reloading. Mm -hmm. Got a handful of seven cards to do some damage. Mm -hmm. And none of them are, well, I guess he could have drawn back into more logos. He only drew one card, though. So he's, uh, did he? Yeah, he well, only drew he, one. I mean. At the end of that turn, he only drew one. So he is, he, he fully, like. He's ready to do right. some damage. All right, so he get ooh, okay, interesting. So he puts himself into check. Mm. So he just plays one card. That makes me wonder: Does he already have the Anthony in hand? So does he already have the the answer? And he's saying, you know what? I'm gonna just get to my key. But the but the forge compiler. I mean, like, he kind of need He, yeah, like, super see. needs this to be, oh, like, a gateway. Oh, oh, and Ancient oh, Power. Oh, oh, this is the oh, KO, guys. I'm calling oh, it. Stick a fork oh, in him. He's done. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, uh, Billy is saying, yeah, that'll I'll do it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we're about to see the concede button. This is my play. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I would already be uh, figuring out whether I want to go first or second. Because, <laughs> like, even if this is gateway, it doesn't do anything anymore. Like, it's 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 over. It's over. It's like, yeah. there's nothing you can do against this board. He's going to keep sitting on six cards. Even the form of giants, the card that I freaking hate more than most cards, is, is going to give him money. Like, it's space dollars. <laughs> yeah, this is re re three times. Mm. Play another daughter, why not? Get some more cards, yep. Get some archives going. Yeah. Whole business. Yeah, all of it. It's just money. And again, there's no... I mean, Anthony can stall, but there is yep. no, like... There's no EP. There's no TMTP here. Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing going. There's the platform. Yeah, platform. <laughs> Way too little, too late, my friend. Yeah. You fought hard. Early he's game was hard to contest. Again, hold, though, hold there? like we said, though, if City State gets jarred, yep, yep, that changes happen. a lot of what happened near the end. That changes some mm -hmm. of the value that was gotten off of Gluttony, off of the the second one we saw played, and this is the third one we saw played that literally closed out the game because uh, Ancient Power is able to happen. Mm hmm. Alright, round two, fight!